Hey, welcome to another episode of The Rob Report. I'm your host, Robert Bob TV Brown. Before we get into the segment, by the end of this video, I want you to do a few things for me. First of all, if you like the video, hit the like button. Please do. If you don't like it, hit unlike. It's okay. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Sometimes, as Jimmy Doyle would say, you find yourself unsubscribed and you need to make sure that you subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell right next to it so you can be notified when a new video is being dropped. Whoop, there it is. And more importantly, the Super Chat will be on for this segment. So if you want to donate uh, toward the efforts of Bob TV, that's freely up to you. I do have a job, but any amount will help toward the growth of this channel. And more important, let us help you help us by introducing you to a program. There's a link down below that says Equal Justice for All. You're going to click that video link. And there's some educational tutorial about a phenomenal program in America that is really making equal justice a reality for every citizen. So this program is phenomenal. Um, the proceeds from you participating in the program will go back 10%. Will go back into um, the Bob TV YouTube channel. So anyway, my name is Robert Brown with the Rob Report. Let's get into. It. Hey, good day. Welcome to another episode of Rob Report. I'm your host, Robert Bob TV Brown. How are you doing today? Well. Chris Matthews and a whole bunch of other people after the debates just lost their mind. All the news commentators were unraveled. Chris Matthews, the host of Hardballs, more like got no balls, actually took a swipe at Bernie Sanders because of Bernie Sanders' so-called language, like he's an attorney. And he's telling Bernie Sanders, you should change your language because if you change your language, uh, um, we probably have a chance to beat Trump if you're the nominee. Change your language. Not understanding that the reason Trump won that election is because his language. He did not become presidential and people like that. He spoke his mind. He joked on people, cut down people, made them feel small because, it, you know, people like that. People got tired of the polished politician always trying to do things right. Trying to sound perpendicular. Oh, uh, well, well, uh, well, first off, uh, you know, Joe and and Joe is going to accompany me to count De Camp David. And we got a lot of stuff we're going to talk about. And it's mainly about campaign. And uh, Michelle's going to come with me and we're going to do our thing. And then we're going to win this next election. And hopefully the American public is behind me. Uh, I know I felt the black community first four years. I promised them I was going to do a bunch of stuff in the first four years. Uh, and I failed to do it. I ended up promising a lot of stuff to Wall Street and I gave them everything I promised. I slapped them on the wrist. I gave them money, took it out of the American people's pocket and I paid the financial industry to try to get us out of this debt. Uh, I know I could have paid the American people the money and let them put it in the economy, but uh, why would I do something stupid like that? I got to appease my donors. That's this guy, friend. Oh, he just gloats over Obama. Like a little girl in love with, with her um, um, her teacher or something. Just, ah, oh, this guy. Well, Chris, no, um, the host of No Balls, um, actually took a shot at Bernie Sanders. You guys got to understand, when it comes to the Democratic establishment and when it comes to the media, it stop these progressive extreme left people. These people to talk about Medicare for all, stop them. See, they figure they stopped the Green Party because Green Party is the originator of all this stuff, pushing this stuff, and the Democratic Party decides to pick up the mantle and run with it, especially the extreme left. A lot of extreme left people came from that party. They turned their back on the Green Party and decided to go to the Democratic Party because they, they didn't know how to stay and get their pay. They quit and decided to run. You got people who worked for the um, People's Party. People who did a lot of stuff. They couldn't handle the heat of not getting their agenda fulfilled, so they decided to go on the Democratic Party and be the left-wing part of the Democratic Party, claiming that we want to change the system. Yeah, if you can change it, change it. I don't care. Hope you do. So Chris Snowballs, knowing that Bernie Sanders is starting to gain traction, knowing that Bernie Sanders has an army of a million people out there on boots on the ground with leaflets, knocking on doors, convincing people to vote for him. People who the polls are not going to ever call. 
I'm telling you now, the man got so much stuff. The man is underestimated, and he's not going to try to fi uh, fix that. He's going to leave it just the way it is. See, Trump was underestimated, and because he was underestimated, the polls did all this Hillary this, Hillary that, Hillary this and this and that. And after she won the popular vote, Trump still won because they underestimate. My mom always told me when you underestimate, when you think you're not winning, when you think you're winning and you're winning big, you better act like you're losing. That's how you maintain the win. Trump played y'all. Didn't play me. They ain't vote for neither one of those hacks. Let's get into it. Chris Ball, no balls, the host of no balls, uh, decides to take a swipe at Bernie Sanders. Watch this. Sanders from tonight, Chris Matthews, in addition to his duties in the spin room, has been watching and thinking about all this. Chris, what do you make about this conversation we've been having up here in uh, New York? Well, I think there's a couple things that strike me and they're, they're anecdotal, but uh, when Lieutenant Colonel Vindman was telling the story of his life the other day in the hearing, and he talked about America as a country where uh, right matters. And I, and I thought that kind of uh, immigrant patriotism is something that really does not much to do with left versus right. It's sort of a, a feeling about the country. You may want to make radical change in this country, like Woody Guthrie, this land is our land, or, or Kate Smith and God bless America. But there has to be sort of a, a, a piece there about America and your, and your affection for the country you start with and then you work from that to fix it. And I think when I look at some of the issues about choice or issues, issues like same-sex marriage and all, I think the Democrats always miss the, the cultural piece. They, they see me right on the economics, but they miss the cultural piece. The, the so Chris Noball, the host of No Balls, saying that the Democratic Party missed the cultural pieces. Neither party is focused on the cultural pieces, bro. Neither party. Let's keep going. And how you people feel about things. I mean, I can be, I've been pro-choice since Roe v. Wade was, in, was a court decision, but I have a different view about abortion than other people do. I think Pelosi does too. I think Pennsylvania is pro-life in a, in a way that's pretty real. And I think it was one of the reasons why Trump went up there. Now Trump is a Montebank. He's a charlatan, but he plays on these cultural issues. Make America great. And so are most of the Democratic Party. They are charlatans. Hillary Clinton was a charlatan that played on people's emotion, just like Trump. Joe Biden, he's not a charlatan. He's just a white supremacist just that just don't give a crap. It's either going to be his way or the highway because that's what white supremacists do. He don't care about you. All he care about is he need to win this election. And he going to do everything by hook and crook. He may not do the cheating, but he, don't, he sure don't mind somebody cheating for him to win that election because it's about him. As I said before, he is one of those low-key white supremacists that will don't care. He's not going to budge. He's not going to change for you and still expect you to vote for him just like Hillary Clinton. But let's keep going. Again, they're honest feelings, but he exploits them and, and distorts them in his purposes. I think affection and patriotic feeling about the country and feeling about life and choice and traditional values, if you will. The Democrats are very cold about those things, and I think they really miss a chance to win by simply identifying with the feelings of the country better than they do. And that's the only thought I have tonight. And I caught it again tonight with Bernie Sanders saying, the country's corrupt. Our system's corrupt. Be careful about that language, Bernie. Now, this is where we're, we're going to start. Chris, the host of No Balls, saying that Bernie Sanders is not understanding the needs of American people. Now, look, I don't know what to say about this statement from no, um, the host of No Balls, because he has none. How are you going to say that he don't understand the needs of the people when he actually goes out to the community? Need to do more in the black community, brother. 
Bernie Sanders need to do more in the black community. I know you've been going. I appreciate it, but keep keep doing that and listen to the needs of the black people and advocate it. That's the key of going there. The purpose of going there is to listen to the needs of the black people and advocate it as part of your policy plank and be willing to do whatever you can to make it happen for us. But Bernie's there. He's listening to the people. He even showing the motion. When people are getting upset and crying, I don't know if he's fake or for real or not. That's I'm not a judge of character. That's not my point. But he will come and hug. He will come shed a tear. He will say, meet with me after. He wants to spend some quality time with you. None of these numb nuts does it. The man was talking to Joe Biden about deportation and the lady was talking about it, about to cry, fearing that she might get deported. Joe Biden said, well, you're just going to have to vote for Trump because I ain't changing. If you need to be deported, your butt going to get deported if you come into this country illegally. But that's Joe Biden for you. But you going to say this stuff like here? Be careful, Bernie, because of your tone saying that the United States is American uh, of America is corrupt. You know, be careful that our system of politics is corrupt. Hold up. Chris Matthews, the host of No Balls. You're going to tell Bernie Sanders to be careful because the political system, because he's going around saying the political system is corrupt. You want to know how Trump won? Because he said not only is the political system is corrupt and we need to drain the swamp, but that lady over there who I've been friends with for over 20 years, who our daughter hang out with, she's corrupt too. And you know what? I'm corrupt too, but I ain't going to tell y'all that. Because I really want y'all to, I, because I really want y'all to not have me win. I want to lose and then I can use this to help make me more money. I'm not in this to win it. He was surprised that he won. I don't think Trump even really believed that he was going to win. He's playing people just like Chris Matthews said, like a fiddle, hoping that he lose. People ate that up. They was gullible. They ate it up and he won. Why? Because they hated Hillary so much. Hillary was so intolerable. She was worse than Trump on the campaign trail. Her speeches, her 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 lack of interest in people and, 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 and placating to people and doing all this pandering and all that kind of Pokemon go to the polls and all that bull crap. And here you're talking about a man who's telling the truth that our political system is corrupt. Fairness in the system is not like it used to be if it ever existed. How are you going to tell this man who had his election taken from him when we prove, WikiLeaks proved that the whole thing was set up to screw him? That from day one, Debbie Wasserman Schultz planned this thing with Hillary Clinton and the DNC to do whatever it takes to make her the nominee, even if it includes cheating, even if it's including rigging the polls, even if it's including throwing out ballots or whatever. Here you are going to tell this man that he need to be quiet about talking about. He's not saying enough, bro. Not enough. And that's my pet pee with him. He need to be more vocal about the rigging of elections and the possibility of this one getting rigged again. He need to be pushing more about ranked choice voting. He need to be pushing more about paper ballots like Tulsi Gabbard has been doing in the past. And you going to sit here and tell him, be careful. Bro, he ain't careful enough. Bro, you need to be bold and just go be willing to lose it all on that. You're almost 80 years old. If anything to go out on, you know, any horse to ride in the sunset on, it would be the lack of integrity in our political system, the lack of integrity in our voting system. You guys sat here and said that Trump was corrupt and uh, and, and, and Russia um, uh, impeded in our election for almost three years now. When the truth is the Democratic Party has been corrupt and they rigged the elections before the general election happened. And Hillary Clinton was at the top of the helm by bailing out the DNC with her cash that she got through the Clinton Foundation. How she took money from the down ballot and fed it into her campaign. Pretty much a legal money laundering scheme to fund her campaign, leaving the people in the down ballot cashless. And you wonder why they didn't win the House in the Senate in 2016. Because of corruption, 
Chris Matthews, the host of No Balls. And you got the nerves. That's too strong. I'm sorry, it has corrupt aspects. It ain't just, strong enough, bro. And you just, it don't have corrupt aspect. It's corrupt to the core. And you are one of them because you are paid to say what you want to say. You're not free to be who you are because if you did, you'd be out of there like Ed um, Schultz. You'd be out of there like Melissa House Perry. Our democracy is corrupt is a bad starting point with a lot of people's hearts about this country. No, most people in this country, brother. Chris knows this and they agree with this. So you just need to go sit your butt down somewhere. That's what I think. Thank so here we are to Chris the No Ball. Here we are to host the No Balls telling the man who is using his balls to call out the government saying it's corrupt to the core. And again, bro, you got some freaking nerves to tell him he need to slow, Bernie, slow your roll, man. That's going to offend a lot of people in this country. No, most people in this country knows this. And that's why most people in this country decided to vote for Trump because they believe Trump was going to drain the swamp and he can't drain the swamp because he's part of the swamp. He's been part of the swamp before he even ran for office because he fed that swamp with his don donor dollars on both the Republican side and the Democratic side. For 20 years, he, uh, um, some of the top swamp creatures in the swamp was his best friend Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton and their daughters grew up together, hung out. Best buddies, best friends. And you gonna tell this man? Shh. So you roll, Bernie. Don't be, don't, uh, man, don't be saying that, bro. You're not running for office, Chris Matthews. You're not a political strategist. I think you did step down when you were with Nixon and the Nixon thing, right? Cause you go way back, man. You're real. Oh, 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 gee. And you gonna tell Bernie he need to slow his roll? I don't think Bernie's doing nothing. I think the moment Bernie got cheated in 2016, he should have ran this mouth. But no, he cowed down and he punked out and decided to join the very people who were stabbing in his back, which makes me believe that he didn't care because he didn't expect that he was going to go that far. And he was just happy that he went that far to the point where he can get some leverage over Hillary Clinton to change the DNC policies and the DNC platform. And even with all that work and change that they did, in exchange, he was going to go ahead and support Hillary Clinton and Hillary Clinton spit it in, spit in his face and saying, I'm doing whatever I want to do. And even after the election was over with, because he didn't say much about election integrity and how they rigged the election and cheated me, he knew he was going to run again. So he kept his mouth closed. He didn't want to ruffle no feathers. He didn't want to start no problem. Like I said, that's a badge of cowardice. Sound like the person who know they need a union and know they need to go out there and stand up against their boss. But they are, oh, I'm cool. I'm friends with them. You know, those are my buddies. Man, they robbing you. They're not giving you sick time. And the city gave you sick time. And they're not giving it to you. You need to file a complaint. You need to do something about it. They're telling you you don't get no vacation time. You want vacation time. Take it out of your sick time. They ask you to go out there and march out for, for the 10-day PTO paid time off law for the city of New York, and you don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to ruffle no feathers. I need my job. Sound just like Bernie Sanders. I don't want to ruffle no, no feathers in the Democratic Party. I, I need them to help me win this election so I can make some change. Bro, change start by not compromising at all when it comes to stuff like that. So no Chris Matthews, host of no balls, because you, you got none. He need to be calling them out. He need to be more vocal about the corruption in the government, just as vocal as Trump was when he was saying drain the swamp. He need to say, I'm going to drain more people in the swamp than Trump did. Matter of fact, he's the first person I'm going to drain out the swamp. Nancy Pelosi is next, and, 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 and his vice president Pence is next, and his... He need to be going after all of them. That's the whole point of being an independent, right? Having ability 
to not take sides, but to take over. Chris, bruh, go get some balls. Because she got none. Hard balls. Bro, you ain't even got soft balls. Thank <laughs> you.